Hey guys, it's Mekasan here, and I'm uh, reacting to something very new and uh, different. Okay, these uh, <clears throat> independent animations that are pretty much like, you know, someone telling their, well, uh, something cool happened to them here, or something, just something about their daily lives and just animating it for fun. I... I've seen a few of these. I started watching these, like, you know, mm, Simple Explain, Simple Explain, stuff like that, like Rebecca, now those, those YouTubers that just do these animations about stories that happen to them in the real life, uh, like, last year. And they were fun. They were very fun here. Uh, <laughs> and so, Jaden, Jaden Animations, I also learned about last year, and I've seen a couple, a number of her videos uh, like mainly um, the Nuzlocke challenges she's done, one of her trips to Japan, the uh, the one where you know she ran to the Pokemon plushie the Pokemon Company has given her lucky, and this actually just segues to this video here because this is that Pokemon Company also sent her to Japan for the um, Pokemon trading card game contest going on there. Now I've actually seen. The uh, first three minutes or so of this video, and I said, you know what, I'm going to do a reaction because I can, I got a lot to talk about just for the first three minutes. So I can relate to her so much because I've been to Japan twice. The first time I spent over a thousand dollars and I loved every second of it. And, and, and we're, we're on a, we were on a tour group here, like a whole week going from Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. Yeah, that was way too short. For any of those places, but yeah. Then the second time we spent most of the time, most of the time in Tokyo and going to Kyoto for a bit. That I had so much fun, and you guys, I even did a whole like presentation about everything I bought there, which I'll probably post in a yeah link up there a tag for the video of me showing everything, or I'll put it in the finale, like I always do. Like I do every video. And I even showed like the Gundam unicorn statue. And right now in Japan. Again I got. Can, people in Japan right now that I know that. Not that good. In, not that good right now. With it's raining immense. It's, raining, it's been raining a lot from what I hear. Cloudy. Few clear days. And right now. It's a final month. Of the Gundam statue in Yokohama. And boy, oh boy, from what I hear, like, I, crowds of people here. I've got pictures as well taken. It's like, so, tickets sold out. And, <sighs> but yeah. God, if I went there, my wallet would cry. So, without further ado, let's just look at Jaden Animation. If you haven't seen Jaden Animation somehow, well, link down below the video here. Check out our channel. Say, say that I led you there. Let's say to let you there, but the odds are if you've clicked on this video, you know who Jaden Animation is. Jade, like I seen her when she got her VTuber form, awesome. So watch them. So let's see. <laughs> Remember when Pokemon sent me every single one of their Gen Five sitting cuties for me to? Yes, read? yes. So they really liked that video so much, in fact, that they said, "Hey, Jaden, yeah. awesome video. Why don't you come to Japan to watch the Pokemon Twenty Twenty Three World Championship?" Yes. And that's the reaction. You won't have to pay for your flights or hotel or nothing. Boom! Yes! What? You flight, hotel, nothing? It's like all the money you could have spent on the flight and the hotel. It's like, no, I can just put that on to buy more Pokemon plushies. I can put it. I mean, I I would do that because I've done it before. Like, like, right there. You see the core right here. I'm, you see in the corner right here, right there. I got the Finnegan and Umbreon that I bought in Japan at a Pokemon store. Oh! <sighs> and once before in my entire life, and it was back in 2018 with my family. Yeah. We did a bunch of fun little Japanese tourist things. It was a fun little trip. But ever since then, I've always wanted to go back and do all the awesome you nerdy got... stuff Japan has. <laughs> yes, to extremely I nerdy. Bother my family with. At the time, they didn't even know who Luffy was. They would have been. Yeah. 
So lost. So <laughs> yes. Yes, they would have been. I don't watch One Piece, and I know who Luffy, Luffy is. Again, I... But when One Piece came out, I was like, I was just done with shonen shows. These long-running, so many episodes of shonen shows. No, I couldn't do anymore. I couldn't do anymore. Bleach was the capper for me. I didn't, I didn't even finish Bleach or anything like that here. But Bleach, some point, like, that's when I just stopped caring. And no. So when Pokemon extended their hand and offered yes. to not only me, but Jacob out to attend the biggest Pokemon yes. tournament in the world, I jumped for joy. <laughs> Jump for joy. The tournament yes. was only going on for a single weekend, but Jacob and I planned to stay there for three whole weeks to do <laughs> to a bunch of said extra nerdy <laughs> stuff. We were pumped. <laughs> you know what? Okay, um, what are you three whole went to Tokyo to Japan? If I got that here, yeah, I, you bet your ass I'd be squealing like a little, like a high school girl. In, in fact, warning to all headphone users. <sighs> eee, that was terrible. Eee, oh, damn it. I, I think it's I, better dumb when we said it. That, yeah. This is one of those things where it's best done standing up. Oh, well, but yes, it's like, Wow. Eventually, the time came, Jacob and I were packing up all our stuff, and decided we both would bring an extra suitcase yes. so we could treat ourselves a bit and buy a bunch of cool stuff while we're there. Don't, don't judge us. We're <laughs> no, anime don't, don't. and Nintendo-loving impulse buyers going to Japan. A game plan was needed. We were yes! Yeah, I, can't, I remember when I bought, like, this was an old uh, tour guide journal for, nerd, for like, otaku, something like that here. But yeah, one of the, um, one of the plan they said here was if you're going to Japan for like I don't know, a week or so you bring two luggages a, a big one and a small one the small one is where you hold uh, the clothes the chain the clothes and under and extra, extra clothes and underwear toothbrush and other and but the necessity the basic necessities to for your stay the big and then you put the small one in the big one and that's you have one luggage here, and when you come back, you can you have the carry-on, the small carry-on here, and the luggage fill of every stuff you freaking buy. <laughs> so yes, if anything, but you say three weeks, you uh, you're gonna need more than two luggages. That's for damn sure. Each. Two extra suitcases was definitely gonna be enough. <laughs> no, it was not. It never is. Trust me. J just the. Base I needed to put the DX Chogokin of the freaking like YF 29 or 31 of ya Isamu Custom. It took off so much of the bat, took, took a lot more of the bat of the uh, luggage. So, no, it ain't. You got any more. But yeah, but if you're an impulse buyer, you, you want to think you're. Like again, you're not you don't have to pay for the hotel or the or the flight. So you got a lot of spare money in your wallet that I'd be impulse buying like crazy. Yep. Equipped with our extra nope. luggage, we headed off to the airport. Pokemon straight up gave us business class seats. We didn't ask Lucky. them or anything. So when we boarded, good. we realized we had the seats where you could lay down. There even was some sort of seat divider that acted like a car window, so I could roll it down and bother <laughs> Jacob whenever I wanted. Quick. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I got a first class seats when I on my trip back from Miami. And this is a new flight. This is, this was this actually a uh, recent, like in 2001, 2002. Damn good seats here. Just laid back. It, the, the trip from here to there was just two hours. Just laid back and watched Ghostbusters on the on on monitor. Little 11 an hour flight later, and we were in... 11 hours, yes. It was time to have the best trip of our lives. Yes. I'm, I'm not joking. This, this is where I left off. It was an incredible trip and got to do things I won't ever forget. And I, I won't, because I've now plastered it onto the internet forever. We were yes. in midday Japan time, so we decided... Yes, I know. I still got some of my old, some of my pics here. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited here. I don't remember where I put, put photos here, but yeah. 
Oh, so like I went, I even went to freaking Disney, Di Japan Disneyland. Oh, uh, they got some, they had some pretty nice murals there and everything. But yep, mostly just remember the, the Gunpla base and everything. It's like, oh yep, uh, you guys probably remember this. With the uh, Gundam, well, well, Gundam Free, the Gundam statue and everything. Yes, 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 yes. I want it back again. I decided to go to the first thing we wanted to see while abroad. Yeah. The Japanese McDonald's. <laughs> I couldn't order anything except fries, but Jacob and I both dropped our jaws when we saw something called the Double Big Mac on the menu. Really? I wow. thought Americans already went big with the Big Mac, but Japan did the impossible just to send a message. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, I've been to a Japanese McDonald's. And so they, they literally send, give your food to you here like they like you you go to your seat they hand you one of those uh one of those signs the number here and they and they bring your food to you like an actual restaurant not a fast food what a magical place yes very plan. magical pokemon planned a bunch of cool stuff for the creators and partners they flew out lucky with a group field trip to the mega tokyo pokemon center jacob and i woke up early for it and missed the bus they had for us and it totally wasn't completely my fault entirely because I hypothetically didn't read the schedule correctly and was taking my sweet time getting ready. Why would you think that? <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we, all, we all have those moments, but yeah. Nice job. We had to take the trains on our own to get there. Ooh. Anyone that remembers my first Japan trip knows the trains were me and my family's mortal enemy mm -hmm. number one. We kept I think I recall that a bit, but... Failure after failure the entire trip. You'd think that with all that prior experience and struggle, I would have grown as a Japanese train understander, right? <laughs> no. Nope, we got on the wrong train. But at least we were having a, a good time. <laughs> <laughs> How? Um... Seriously, I, I'm pretty. There's like the signs are in Eng have English as well on him. I, I've I've written the train. <laughs> I've written a train to get to Diverse City, and uh, tw multiple times it's like it's you can't read a map even if it's English. I, you can't just read a you can't read a map. That's all. I'm sorry, Jaden. You cannot read a freaking train map. Period. Doesn't matter that it's in Japanese. Uh, after a lot of freaking out this and mental strain and regrets, we finally arrived <laughs> at our destination. And although by the time we got there, they had already finished looking at the Pokemon Center, we were able to grab a quick snack with the group at the Pokemon <laughs> Sweet Cafe. I meant to take a picture of the Pikachu waffle before I ate half its cranium, but half I cranium. forgot. So this is what you get. Hey! We were with the group. Hey! We were able to travel with them for the rest of the day, so we packed into the bus and headed off to a. I forgot, so this is what you get. <laughs> now that we were with the group, we were able to travel with them for the rest of the day, so we packed into the bus and headed off to a traditional tea ceremony where we uh. were taught all about how the tea matters, <coughs> tea, and tea etiquette, and all these yeah. things about the significance of tea in Japanese culture, all while getting to taste the tea okay. the tea master made. Again, I meant to take this picture before I took a chunk out of the little sweet they gave us, but here we are yet again. I'm uh, again, um, I tried. You, it, it, I, I, I'm impressed with you, Jaden. You can drink the tea. I tried every time I can. I. I literally, like every, cause they, cause they, yeah, even in the airport, even in the airport here, they got the little restaurant there. You can actually dispense for hot water and tea and everything like that here. So I gave it a shot. Uh, still do, but it's definitely a, an acquired taste, a, a very hard acquired taste here. I still haven't acquired it. I'm just not that great at this. They also served us a really special lunch of super fancy bento boxes. Like, so fancy Ooh. that the host was like, dude, I've never even had these bento boxes before. I was so Lucky. excited, but I don't mean to be ungrateful or wasteful, what? but the box was full of super fancy, complicated fish and seafood. I mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm more very basic.
basic myself when it comes to sushi and sashimi. I'm not, uh, yeah. I knew going to Japan I'd have to be flexible <coughs> with food because it's really hard to be vegan or even vegetarian there. So yeah. I really tried to eat as much as possible and look thankful. Wait. But yeah, I, I struggled a lot. But I Is Jaden vegan or vegetarian? I, is she? Still had a great time and it was an honor. We were dropped off at the Yokohama <laughs> Chinatown and let Yokohama. us explore a bit until dinner in a few hours. Yo, did you see the Gundam Star Trek? Because if you did, I am going to kill you. Everyone separated into groups, and Jacob, Stefan, the guy that sent me all the <coughs> things, you do guys remember him, the guy named Steve, and I went and pursued the street food a bit before stumbling into a little arcade with a bunch of crane machines. I got ah. this silly little bear minifigure. His name is Chico Ob, so I decided Trust to me. innocently carry him around in my pocket for the entirety of the trip. You know, because he was silly. This Cute. single action severely changed the course of my mental stability going forward. You'll oh. see soon enough. Okay. Look at these cute photos I got with him. Oh, that is, uh, yeah. <laughs> the course of my mental stability going forward. You'll see soon enough. But look, yeah. look at these cute photos. That's cute. Photos I got. That is very cute. <laughs> yeah. That's. There's plenty of those crane machines and arcade machines, stuff like that, so... Hey, there's crane machines where you can literally try to get one of those pretty pricey, pricey anime figurines. Got with them. We had a great dinner, headed back to the hotel, got to hang out with our good old Pokemon rival, Jit. Or yawn a bit and called it a night the next yeah. day we all got the to next do some day. private shopping at the pokemon, <laughs> pokemon. pop-up shop i'll just say uh. we bought way too much stuff that we also don't regret in the slightest <laughs> i have this video of jacob grabbing more and more sitting cuties as the workers kept reorganizing them to keep the display looking perfect we walked out of <laughs> yeah yes yes i think i i think i've been to that exact same one too that's the one where i got the Finnegan and Umbreon. There were three giant bags of stuff. But it's okay, because remember, we anticipated this with our extra suitcases. Not enough. I am starting to wonder if they are going to be enough. But You bought a giant Snorlax freaking... No, it was not going to be enough. You... At this point, uh, you need three weeks in Japan. Three weeks. You needed at least three case, three bags minimum. I would have probably bought five or six, but five, five or six with me because I'd be stuffing them with, oh boy, a lot of that, uh, a lot of mecha related stuff. You can bet your ass. Surely we will come down. We were then all taken no. to the creatures offices. You know, just the place where they make Pokemon cards. It was gorgeous in there. They had these awesome sculptures of giant Pokemon. Oh, wow. I just that char that I just give me that because again a uh, look around this place here I need to put up painting pe portrait shells and so much decorate this place Come and that crystals and all the 3D card art it felt like I was in a building with a lot of significance. Be because I was. Yes, you were. We around the building, met the TCG card testers, and were able to ask them questions about their process. Even got to have a little Q&A session with Atsushi Nagashima, the game director of the Pokemon TCG. It was funny. One of the people in our group asked how they chose which Pokemon to make cards for. A good question. And then followed it up with, I really like Mantike, but there's only two Mantike cards that exist. And the assistant pulled up a list of all the Pokemon Mantike cards that have ever been created. And sure enough, there were only two. The director chuckled and was essentially <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes Pokemon get lost in the cracks. We kind yeah. of make cards of Pokemon I like. For example, my favorite Pokemon is Gengar. And Gen you know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, it does that? Okay, I, I didn't know that. So yeah, a lot of Gengar. So there are a lot of Gengar cards. And yeah, I mean, it was one thing when originally it was 151 Pokemon. But now, yeah. Things get lost in the shuffle. A lot of Pokemon are just kind of forgotten. 
were able to have a Q&A session with the Pokemon card art director and three artists who actually draw art for the cards. That was super nice. interesting, and I was so incredibly inspired uh, by that discussion. Uh, but you know those Pokemon cards with the super cute clay art? That artist's name is Yuka Mori, and she was in that panel. I was so starstruck. <laughs> those are some of my favorite Pokemon the cards. The clay And not only that, but she hosted a little workshop for us where she gave us clay and taught us how to make little clay magnemites like that is cute here. that that's Speaking cute card she uh, brought the actual original magnemite for us to see that was by far the coolest <laughs> thing that i've ever God. gotten to be a part of we got yeah you you you're like it would be it'd be like you bring the original like little little stop motion figures of jack skellington to a bunch of Tim burton fans <laughs> Like the Magnemite using the cards is like again. I I haven't played. I have not played the TCG. Wow. I, I, I pretty much as soon as Yu-Gi-Oh came out, I just meh. But I can still appreciate the uh, the artwork and everything like that here. And again, I'm behind on Pokemon big time. I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to watch Horizon, which came on Netflix, but. Yes, but I, at this point, you could call me a casual Pokemon fan, even though I was there in the beginning, and still am, still was there for a while. I, I'm pretty sure, heck, I just found out I still got the uh, old Pokemon, po let me see, Pokemon Pokedex game, let me see if I, I can bring it up here. Uh, I'm taking uh, so much of your time, people. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay, that's just all the enemy. Ah, here we are. Yeah, like, the Pokemon Project Studio Red version released in 1999. I, I still have my, a copy of that for the PC. Oh, boy. Maybe one day I'll even get once I get the I find where my GameCube is, I can play my original copy of Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, got it. <laughs> wow. We got to meet a piece of genuine history. I Maybe oh god, now I'm wondering, can I can, I gotta find I'm pretty sure I have a copy of Pokemon Pinball. I felt like I was meeting the president. Also, <laughs> president, yes. Those magnemites that we made. Oh, I like it. Pokemon field trip, and we were taken to another Pokemon center. This time in Shibuya, which was also right across from a hey. Nintendo store. Wait, Shibuya? It was like a bullet was shot through our credit cards. <laughs> yes. Wait, Shibuya? I'm. Could that have been the one? The one where I went? I. I. I, I, I. In the shopping center, I saw a little gotcha machine with little miniature Chikawa plushes. Uh -oh. I was really interested in getting Chikawa, but I decided to test my luck anyway. Oh, boy. And I got them first try. Now I had two of them. Yes, the original was still in my pocket. You can safely assume he is in my pocket for the entirety of this video. I've got pictures to prove it. Jacob okay, good. Awesome picture of the Chikawa brain rot taking over. When we <laughs> brain rot, the yes. Shonen Jump Shop, a Shonen little jump. Japanese boy pointed at Jacob and went, Sanji son, Sanji? his mother quickly yanked him away, <laughs> and I still to this day laugh at that interaction. Poor kid saw his first blonde guy in real life and immediately thought it was Sanji. Later that day, that is a oh, that I mean again, it's One Piece. Uh, big fat compliment, lucky you. We also got to attend the Pokemon Symphony, where a live orchestra played Pokemon songs, and it was absolutely incredible. Oh. Video game orchestras are so cool. It always tugs on my heartstrings to see video game music transformed into such a beautiful new art form. Highly recommend yes. attending one if you have any favorite games or franchises. On oh, yes, yes. I I liked it when uh, occasionally, like uh, the Game Awards or. Stuff like that, they do uh, like a symphony performance. She rare, but I still remember, like, one of my favorites, of course, the Assassin's Creed Symphony, obviously. Beautiful, beautiful songs and everything like that. I, there was, I know there was a, Mo like, a symphony where they played the Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers music is like, Jesus. I would love to go to that in, per in person and 
in person there, be on the in the seat and everything. Can you guys come to Puerto Rico? Please? And thank you? To the first day of Worlds. It was exciting. People flooded into the venue. We watched the opening ceremony in the crowd. Just wow. Just this is the whole reason why we're here. We went back to shopping. <laughs> yeah, I told you did. I took a book I found in a nearby bookstore. <laughs> I took a point, book? We were absolutely pushing it in terms of luggage space, mm -hmm. and we were day four into a two and a half week trip. Our shopping sprees until this point were very not frugal so no. we cut our losses and bought two extra giant suitcases to fit everything better yeah and you're still gonna need a new one i can tell you that much for, of course you just four days and already your your walls are dead that checks out sir okay we knew gonna need extra suitcases <coughs> a few extra couldn't hurt look the flights were paid for we were still saving money at this point i think that's no you're not but it, yeah yeah like the flights were paid for so you can buy six suitcases you would have to pay pay for the extra luggage so go all out the only problem would the only problem would be where are you gonna put those suitcases when you get home because you guys Live in an apartment, right? I mean, do you have space for that? Ugh. That's my rationalization. I'm going with that. Also, okay, in the good. mall were tons of Pokemon monitors straight up playing the World Championships. TCG, Pokemon Go, VGC. Japan Pokemon Go. Japan Worlds like it was the Super Bowl. And it was just so cool to see one of my main interests so culturally celebrated. People yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. I'm getting so excited whenever, like, Gundam gets so culturally representative represented here in several, several things i uh, look they, they go so far as to make gundam manhole covers look and they're very artistic like painted everything like that and i think that manhole covers how much is that how much does that cost like then they might uh, and i and i'm and i know for a fact they've done pokemon manhole covers of all ages would stop by to watch for a bit before going back to their shopping. I can't explain it, but it just made me very happy. We yeah. even got to see Wolfie live on the monitors. How'd he do? Uh, he did great. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. You. Look, we're. <laughs> yeah. No matter, you may be great in the West here, but in Japan, you do not hold a candle. Because. Again, I mean, they, these guys, I'm thinking back to the first time I went to Japan and evening, arcade, it was a, um, it was, it was the era of Gundam Seed people, so on the arcade they had uh, Omni versus Zaft, like, yeah, and I saw a guy that was clearly an office worker, because he had, he had a suit on and everything, he was an office, uh, corporate, he was a dev, like the, Pitch, he was already the, pretty much the post poster of a typical, we, what we consider, corporate slave. And, my God, he, 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 the way, the way he moved the joystick and the attack button combos and, like, damn. Oh, yeah. Do, they, do not underestimate the Japanese or the, or the pros. Like, like they just said, this is a national sport. Just happy to see our friend on the Pokeball screen. Proud of you, Wolfie. You're so cool. The yeah. second day of Worlds was hype. So hype that we left Yokohama and flew to Osaka. I haven't mentioned it yet, but we... You left a little Osaka? Actually got tickets to see the one and only Hatsune Miku live in concert. The real ones know how huge that is for me. Oh. I'm so fucking jealous right now. I want to talk about how life changed. This video's gonna be long now. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about that experience. I'll be posting next. All I'm gonna say is Just... it was the best day of my entire life, by a lot. Subscribe now before you miss it. Just saying. I will I... mention we did have to take the train to get back later that night, and got super lost again. And we never get better at it. Don't expect anything to change in that regard. We. You need someone to smack you guys every time you get it wrong. Maybe then, maybe then the repeated smacking will teach you not to do not take the wrong train.
did finally get back to Yokohama, crashed for the night, and had a nice slow morning as we got ready for finals later that day. To any One Piece fans who are caught up, we were in Japan One Piece, for yeah. the One Piece anime episode. You know uh. what I'm talking about. 1072. We were able to turn on our hotel TV and watch it live. And that was Lucky. so cool. I don't yeah. think about how much I love One Piece much, mainly because it doesn't really come up. But One Piece is peak, and it was an honor to be in Japan at such an iconic part of the manga and anime's history. I, I understand. I, I understand here. Like, it wasn't One Piece, but for me, it was... I was in a hotel room, and there, premiering on the TV, was the episode of Naruto Shippuden. <coughs> And again, I, I kind of fell out of, and again, I, I, I fell out of Naruto as well, so wasn't that big or wasn't that big of an impact for me as it is for Jaden's One Piece episode, but seeing it there on TV, like on the screen, it's like a premiere. It was, wow. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay to watch it here because we had to go on next course, but yeah. Anyway, back to Pokemon, sorry about that. We were able to watch the final VGC match live, got to chat and eat dinner with Wolfie and some other friends, had a late night hangout with Yon again, yep. and that was about it. Day 7 meant it was time to pack up all our stuff from the hotel, say goodbye Ooh. to Pokemon and Yokohama, Pokemon. and head on over to the apartment we rented for the rest of our stay just outside of Tokyo. Okay, yeah, you they, they, pay, for the, they pay for the hotel and... Yeah, but they're not going to let you stay over time after the... Oh, you're in an apartment, an Airbnb. Huh. Was it an Air okay, Jaden, if you're, if you're watching this, was it an Airbnb or an actual apartment? Wait, let me think. At this point, we had filled up all six suitcases and multiple backpacks. Yep. Yep. Don't be, don't be ashamed, Jaden. I gotta say, do not be ashamed. That's normal. I didn't mention it, but Pokemon gave us a truckload of gifts that we genuinely had no idea what to do with. <laughs> it's awesome! Nonetheless, thank you, Pokemon. I like the mag. I want the mug. The mug. The coffee mug. I want that. I need more mugs. But, yeah, the, the taxi ride was a bit awkward. So, are you meeting up with some friends? No. After no. we were situated in the new place, we decided to look around the area and grab some lunch. And I gotta say... So yeah, again, with, again, Jade, I asked, was it, was it an apartment or or an was it like an Airbnb? Because if it's an Airbnb, I want to know who was the uh, one that you visited from because and I, I, I know someone in Japan that does do like... Red Airbnbs, although he does it for large families, like large groups. So if it's just you and if it's just, if it's just the two of you, the odds are wasn't him. The little hole in the wall restaurant Jacob found was some of the mm -hmm. best ramen I've oh, yeah. ever had ever. Yeah, they even like... made it vegetarian for me, which was extremely kind of them. Food oh. modifying is a bit tricky in Japan compared to the States, so I was very, very thankful. And it was delicious. Yes, it is. We then proceed. It is delicious. I was like, you, you want to go to those ones here. Like, the ones, like, I. You, even, even, especially the best, even if you like beer, if you like to drink alcohol, but close it up, nice cold, a nice cold one. Find those rest, those those like uh, rest, those uh, bars on the like side there, which literally, literally, it's just like like the corner right here almost, where you just I can only see like five people, and it's great. I was that's what I hear. I don't drink alcohol, but yeah. There's a ton of that. And these restaurants, they're like in a wall? Like, those are traditional. It's like, wow. Stated to do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day because we were exhausted yeah. on the trip so far. I haven't mentioned absolutely everything we'd been doing on the trip because it would be a lot of, first we did this and it was cool. Then we did this and it was cool. Even though yeah. it was such a pleasure to be invited, I was so dead. And <laughs> Rest in peace, Jaden. Yeah. It does get tiresome. I'm, I would have take one day and I don't know post all the video, all your collected videos online or something. If you bring your your laptop, something like that, talk about your travels, chat. It can get it can get tiresome. 
and definitely looked super not approachable or friendly to the rest of the group by the end of it. Sorry, yeah. Guys. But neither time That's... nor Japan stopped for anyone, so we had to keep on chugging along. There were a bunch of friends we wanted to see while in Japan, and one of them was Connor. He wanted to take us to what he deemed his favorite Italian place ever. I asked if it was okay. like fancy Italian, to which I was given the answer of no. So we got there having a great time, and suddenly we realized Junichi Masuda the director of Game Freak is there having dinner. Not a fancy dinner, my ass. <laughs> down to see the Freddy Fazbear FNAF t-shirt that I am wearing. Not the best Jaden moment to exist, but hey, Why? what can you do? The food was phenomenal, though. Yeah. I already mentioned the best ramen I've ever had while on the trip, but this was genuinely the best pasta I've ever had in my oh, entire life. Yep. Maybe even a top three meals ever for me. I don't know what the <laughs> other two would be, but that Connor place is definitely up there. The next did you try? You know, did you try the Wang Yu, Wang Yu beef? Ooh, those beasts, like, oh. Okay, granted, granted uh, yeah, you, clearly you're vegetarian, so you probably didn't. Did Alpharad try at least? I mean, someone? Next day, we went to the One Piece store in Shibuya and bought yep. a lot of stuff because there was a lot of topical and hype things in there, as you could imagine. If you don't get it, go catch up and come back. Don't worry, it won't take too long. My favorite character is Mihawk, but out of all the stuff the store had to offer, there were only a few stickers and a single keychain from Mihawk. I'm still mauling about that one. I just <laughs> Mihawk. Is that too much to ask for? Even this guy got better merch. The <laughs> men deserves better. I guess I'll just take my Zoro and Law stuff. That's cool too, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I also it is. found a bunch Kitty. of Chikawa stuff in a oh, key God. store. And this is truly when you get to see where things start going downhill for me. I just like the funny little cartoon <laughs> bear thing. What, is that such a crime? I don't remember what mm. we did the rest of the day. I think we just crashed and passed out. This trip, as surreal as it's been so far, has been absolutely taking a toll on me and i desperately needed to just not move or talk or exist for a bit we were doing so many different things that were all awesome and hanging out oh, with so yeah. many different people that were all awesome yep. oh, man i am not built for extended periods of that much excitement and socializing as although like i'm guessing the, was the weather all great for you it's like wh how was it when when was this exact well, okay the, the, yeah but what because right now, again, I'm, I have been hearing about Japan there. I mean, it's spring and, spring and it, it, the weather looks pretty bad as of this recording last I checked. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the weather was all was great for you all day, huh? As much as I oh, would like all to week? change this fact, I'm also not a very active person. I know, I know. Up until this trip, I was practically sitting down 24-7, working all the time to prep as much work as possible so I could have a guilt-free three weeks off. And my muscles were mm -hmm. definitely starting to decay at that point. I yeah, um... Go to the gym. You know, just, just do the... Don't, don't have a trainer, just do... Just let, just have them give you a, some of the basics you can do to at least keep your muscles healthy and active. I looked at my phone's step. <coughs> Get a routine. There was one day where I literally got 300 steps. That's pathetic. And suddenly I'm logging over 20,000 daily. My body was screaming. What the hell are you doing out there? Please stop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Plus, we were in Japan during the hottest, oh. most humid time of the year. Every time we left the air-conditioned yeah. luxury of a building, we would immediately be drenched in sweat. Look. Yeah. That's what I hear, okay. Uh, <laughs> first time Japan, the weather was... Okay. Okay, not too hot, not too cold. Second time, went to Japan... It was uh, pretty chilly. No snow, but it definitely requ re required to wear some light winter jackets. And I've heard it gets really hot in Japan. Look, I'm used to the heat. I grew up in Arizona, but even this was too much. So yeah, crash and burn it was.
Tokyo's I'm from Puerto, I'm Puerto Rico here. Was a oh. bit underwhelming. It felt like yeah. a slightly worse version of the one in California because of the oddly spaced layout and surprisingly empty vibe. We did go to a really? themed show thing. For a lot of people, when I went, <laughs> you saw the Mad Hatter and Alice so dance there. But uh, yeah, and it was surprisingly cheap. Yeah, it's like I think seventy-two bucks. And there was like a lot inside here, like like I believe the resort was inside the park technically, so you didn't have to pay to enter the the park once you entered once you were in, in the resort. And as we were walking in, a worker stopped us and said, oh, "Excuse me, Stitch only speaks Japanese." Like warning us, it's not super tourist friendly. But I just think yep. the statement of Stitch only speaks Japanese is hilarious. We went in anyway, and yep. Stitch only spoke Japanese. Kazoku. Yeah, overall, it was not the best thing we did, but apparently, I didn't know this, Japan has two Disneys, Disneyland and Disney Sea, and we went to land, I... which is unanimously deemed the worst of the two. Huh. I did not know that. So, oops. Better luck next time. Jacob and I took two more. Yeah, rest thank you for that. Just turn to ash. Then up and at him, <laughs> back to Osaka we go. Osaka. We went to an Eve concert. Besides Hatsune Miku, the Japanese band Eve is the only other concert I've said I wanted to go see. I love their music videos. They have their <laughs> songs. It's always such beautiful animation. And by the way, they're the ones who sang the season one Jujutsu Kaisen anime opening theme. If you oh. lost earlier in the trip, Jacob just so happened to look up if they were doing a concert while we were there, and lo and behold they were we got some totally not scalped tickets which scalp to be a super complicated process or out later you, jacob you're the bestest friend i've ever had thank you for going through the trenches for silly old me anyway, <laughs> so you. incredible the you atmosphere was fantastic they had awesome visual effects going on the glow bands a lot of people bought were perfectly synced to the music and colors on the stage which really enhanced That's... the experience the yeah music was great which i mean of course it was that was the whole reason we went in the first Place. Oh. I talk about it more in the upcoming Miku video, but Japanese encores are so much different from the American ones. They're so quiet and polite. There is pretty much no screaming and cheering. It was just a long applause with a semi whisper chant of Encore. Encore. Yeah, I think uh, we the best we got example of that we got in America was when um there was a little kill a kill where you go fought choir, choir girl with band leader girl, and they go, we want more. We want more. And they also made us wait like five minutes for them to come back out. My hands were getting itchy just from clapping so much. That's how long it took. And then <laughs> when they finally came out, they ended up doing like... Five extra songs. I mean, I'm not complaining, but after yep, the fourth fine. time thinking, man, that was a great last extra song. Well, time to head home. Nope. Wait, another? It's <laughs> This is just a side tangent, but Jacob went off to use the bathroom before the show started and came back 10 minutes later like, dude, this is crazy, but it took me a bit longer to find a bathroom because there were so many extra women's bathrooms, which is like, Whoa, that's Whoa. actually so smart. There's always such a huge line for the women's bathroom compared to the men's in any scenario. I was just shocked Japan was like, okay, then we'll make more women's bathrooms to wow. fix that problem. Like, it was so simple. I know in America it would probably turn into a stupid political thing, but uh, it made me so happy yeah. Japan just implemented such an obvious and straightforward solution so easily for the gals. The next yeah. Yep, yeah, that's, um... We, we, we can't, in America, you can't do anything sensible without it becoming a political shitstorm. Because, I guess, 
Americans like to complain about the insignificant little things over the real problems. Next day, we headed over to Universal, which was hands down the best amusement park I've ever been to. Really? So they can do amusement parks well. First huh. of all, Universal Japan is way more anime and manga focused than the ones in the States, which made it instantly more engaging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, uh, note to self. Japan Studios, Universal Studios Japan, next to the list. Agreed we would window shop for the first part of the day and then buy all the things we wanted as we were leaving so we wouldn't have to lug around a bunch of bags all day. But we immediately Yeah, that's sensible. And how long did it last? We immediately saw a little one piece shop and cracked. We yeah, there, there we go. Wear these one piece headbands, that's rule breaking worthy. We also got some towels because surprise, surprise, it was freaking hot. I know I've been complaining yeah. about the weather here and there, but my Don't lord, trust me. it was miserably scorching. Japan has such a big culture around staying cool while outside, and I totally get it now. People would be walking around with little fans, ice packs, towels. A lot of women had parasols. I'll say, if we didn't... Yep, yep, um, heck, it gets hot here that even during the day, I put on a pair, I put on, I get my umbrella and just, yeah. I hate the sun. Get those towels. We probably could have passed out from heat stroke that day. Later on, I even ended up getting another towel. It was a cute Pikachu one, but I got it mainly because it was a cloak design. Yeah. After soaking that yes. thing in cold water and putting it on, my body temperature instantly lowered like five <laughs> degrees. However, yes. that meant I was walking around the park looking like this. Back to the <laughs> awesome stuff. We did a bunch of attractions like watch a fun 4D Jujutsu Kaisen show where the seats move around. Went on -box, a huh? 3D VR Spider-Man ride. Oh. We tried to cool down by going on a Minions thing called Freeze Ray Sliders that claimed to cool riders down with a blast of chilled mist from a giant freeze ray. But we got on and absolutely did not even touch a drop of the mist because it never ended up getting in range of our cart. That felt like an actual <laughs> tragedy at the time. Yeah. There were a few big roller coasters we wanted to go on, but I get super motion sick and forgot to bring nausea medicine. Ooh. So, no roller coasters for us, but I shall return. Sucks to be you. Day. The park, of course, <laughs> had a bunch of cool themed restaurants. One of them being a super cool one piece restaurant. Did I uh, of one -piece course. There was a special Sanji one, but we didn't know you needed a reservation. <laughs> so Fully. It was fully. Ah, fully. After a few hours of rides and being broiled alive, we decided <laughs> to fully cool off by going on the Jurassic Park ride. That's just giant splash mountain with dinosaurs. We cooked pretty the much, yeah. For probably a solid hour, and as soon as uh, we were uh, stepping foot inside the ride, it started pouring rain. Now <laughs> that's accurate. But what I hear is pretty accurate just not fair. I don't even understand how that happened, but whatever. We started buying all the stuff we window shopped for as we waited for the One Piece live show to begin. Live show? Of course. Please refrain from judging. I am being vulnerable and open here. By the way... No, I... I be your... If they, if they ever bring back the uh, stage play of Gundam 00, you bet your ass! And if I'm in Japan, you bet your ass I'm gonna watch it like about five times the same week. Can we get an IBO, please? Or from Mercury live show? Please? 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 As we were walking around, we stumbled onto a little Mario-themed show just out in a courtyard area. They played some fun little custom songs and had all Aww. these dancers alongside the mascots. And then out of nowhere, they started absolutely blasting the crowd with, like, gallons of water. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. It was like firefighters showed up to put out a giant fire, except <coughs> the fire was a bunch of Japanese <coughs> people. Someone came and we got to file in for That's a awesome. one-piece live show. And even though Jacob and I didn't understand us, single part of it because it was all in Japanese. It was awesome and the costume design was phenomenal. It yep. was a bit unfortunate though because the seats were all in like a half circle formation Ooh. on the stage. As much as they tried to make yeah. the show enjoyable from all angles, it was pretty hard to see the main things going on in the center. My only <laughs> true complaint though is 
is that Zoro didn't come to our side at all. All the other characters rotated around so we could see them, but Zoro only did it at the very end to take a bow. Also, Mihawk being included would have been nice, but it's okay. By the time oh, we brother. got to enter Nintendo Land, it was oh, like 9 p.m. We got up at 6 a.m., by the way, so we pretty much just rode the Yoshi's Island ride they don't have in the States and headed home because that's all the energy we had left. Yeah. So we just... Yeah. You get there at 9 p.m. and... Oh, wait. Yeah. Oof. That's... That's a lot of work. I mean, not only you had what no, I would say that I think, and I learned this, and I, did, I agree with this from Dr. Uh, Caliban, that, yeah, you might want to return to the, well, the apartment or, or whatever and take a nap, then come back for the rest, but I guess they don't do that. They don't do, like, if you same day, stuff like that. Seeing that, it was so, miles yeah. better than the one in the States. Also, we of course it was. a little dinner at the 7-Eleven near our hotel. 7-Eleven uh, is actually awesome in Japan, by the way. And then oh, yep. Yeah. It is. It, it very much is. Yeah, like, all, all, all the, uh, the play, the, these, uh, little convenience stores in Japan, they're, they're great. Like, the standards are much higher. Like, five or six points higher than in America. They had a few little Chico plushy keychains, and I bought them. Just being transparent here. We <laughs> I think I regret. I, well, I, think I regret because on the Seven Eleven from the next, there was next door to a hotel I was staying in for the first trip in Japan. There was melon bread right there, and this is a time when I watched the anime Deers. If you know that one, it's like. Wow, but yeah, so if you if you know what I'm talking about, you know why I was I I that melon bread, but I never got it. Instead, I bought a bunch of little Gundam figurine, little Gundam figurine box that you could pull with everything like that. It was awesome. Woke up early the next morning to catch our flight back to Tokyo and hurried over to the Kirby Cafe. Emily actually booked the reservation Kirby for us. Kirby Cafe? She was meant to also be there, but she was only able to get two seats and gave them to us as a gift. Aww. Emily, I will always be indebted to you for <laughs> yeah. your sacrifice. Yes. The cafe itself was so well decorated with all these little Kirby things, and the menu was adorable. I got the star curry and a magical little fruity drink with a Kirby marshmallow that triggered my cute aggression. My cute the aggression. And the Kirby burger. But Kirby since he pizza. made modifications, the staff asked him to not post a picture of the burger to the public. Like, they didn't uh. know he was a content creator or anything. I guess they just didn't want the public to see a naked Kirby burger. We also okay. got to Fair Zoro. enough. I already decided I was going to consume the Carby. The presentation Carby. was beautiful. It was literal art on a plate. Taste-wise, it was decent. The body was some sort of gelatin, which I wasn't too crazy about, but the rest was super tasty. I did my best, but he ended up looking like he was in a horrific accident when I threw in the towel. <laughs> oh, the also Carby! Also a special little private store connected to it. Duh. And, yeah, what you expect happened definitely happened. It was, it was the same thing with the Gundam Cafe as well. That was like... Yeah, you get the meal, everything like that, and right at the, attached to the store, attached to the, attached to the restaurant, is a Gundam store. I bought a Gundam mug from that place. And a bunch of, and a little Gundam keychain, and yeah. We left with full bellies and bags, continued to look around the shopping center the cafe was connected to, and ended up walking into a gotcha store. Ooh. I am about to be very vulnerable with you here. This is one of the lowest points of my entire life. Yeah. It was a gotcha machines. I tried them once in Japan, but fortunately, even back then, I was, I never fell, fell into the gotcha hole. So I got like, I tried two, maybe three times on a gotcha machine. I think, and that's it. And I actually, actually, I don't, I don't even think I ever did. I mean, it was a gotcha machine that had Gundams, that little, little, little Gundam figurine, stuff like that, but I think the fact you can get a non-Gundam suit, or rather, you know, Xeon suits, turned me off, because I don't want any Xeon suits, I don't want to spend my money on a gotcha and get, oh, I got a little figurine of a, of a Zaku too! <clears throat> No, thank you. That's a waste of money. Please 
Don't think too much less of me after what happened in that gotcha store. So I walk in, spot Chikawa, beeline it to the machine, obviously. <laughs> like I mentioned before, oh, I'm only interested in Chikawa, so I was only playing for him. But by the cursed luck of the gotcha gods, <laughs> I just could not get him. I was going back and forth between the machine and the coin exchange, getting multiples of every other little guy, but no Chikawa. I could feel the workers' glances at me, probably because the desk they were standing behind was right next to the machine I was grinding. But after way too much money, he dropped. I got my well-earned, horribly priced at that point. Horribly priced. Yeah. I then started looking at all the other machines, putting some coins in a few here and there, until I stopped at one that had a line of animals playing band instruments. Oh, that's they cute. They were very silly, but there was a little pigeon holding a <laughs> symbol. Oh, uh, I really that, wanted to get yeah. for Jordan and Kelsey. It oh, for your friends. Okay, cool. I thought you were going to get it for yourself here because you got two birds in your, ha in your house. And went the coins. Tiger... Elephant, fox, it was happening again. Everything Ooh. except the one I wanted, which I know more or less that's the luck with gotchas, <laughs> but it was getting to the point where I was getting surprised <laughs> the pigeon was dodging me as much as it was. What? Exchange, and as I was about to put in more money, I saw out of the corner of my eye one of the workers peek out and take a look in horror at all the gotcha pawns that were sitting at the top of my bag. They then raised up their hand and said something in Japanese while shaking their head. No more. And I knew in my heart I was being cut off. No, please. I, I can stop whenever just a few more hits and I I'm done. The pigeon is next. I can, I can feel it. Why Why do you look afraid? What's under the desk? I got kicked out <laughs> of a gotcha store. I... <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I... Normally, I would say feed your addiction, but... Were you getting kicked out of a gotcha store? It's like, you have a serious problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Think, think professional. Help Jaden. It's like, yeah, wow. A gotcha store kicked you out because they believe you were spending way too much. You got to love Japan and how considerate they are. Like, this, and if you were in America... They'd encourage this. Like, keep going. Yes, keep going. But Japan's like, girl, relax. It's enough. You had enough. They had hit an all-time low. I told my friends, and they said they probably just thought I was going to try and resell them. But I don't even know if that would even make it sound better, knowing I was getting so many that they thought I was robbing them blind. I just wanted my little Chico uh. one pigeon with symbols. Okay, they they thought you were gonna resell them. Um, yeah, that would be a fear and everything, especially this today. Yeah, I can understand that fear as well. We made dinner plans that night with a friend, and we were just about to grab a taxi and head back to freshen up. But Jacob and I caught sight of a fun anime and goodies shop. Oh God! <laughs> Seeking out the stones with a carrot nose dog. Three, two, one, triple rave master. Now, now that, that I, I, I had to literally sing the theme song, but I remember to remember, remember the name. Rave masters. Wow. Dragon Ball. Huh. And of course, Chainsaw Man. There. Who do we think we are? People with self control. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> self control. What is that? Is it? Oh, I think that's what uh Babs Bunny. Needed. Learn your lesson. Learn her lesson, and probably forgot the next episode. So, what is that again? Go. We'll make it quick. We rushed in and split up for optimization. As I was looking around, I saw it. A whole section dedicated to Chico. Oh was like God! Put a freshly baked pie on a windowsill, and I was suddenly <laughs> floating over to it. My eyes were zoned in, making sure I saw every single thing possible, putting Chikawa after Chikawa in the basket. <laughs> Jacob eventually came over and showed me a picture he took on his phone. Oh. In my all my eyes registered was that the picture showed more Chikawa in the <laughs> store. 
I immediately went feral. <laughs> Jacob's eyebrows went up in surprise and maybe a bit of fear. And as I looked at the photo again, <laughs> that's I you. Jacob wasn't showing me a picture of a different Chikawa section. Just the he same was one. Showing me a picture of me at the current Chikawa section yes. I was standing in because he thought it was funny. Yeah. And in my Chikawa brain rot. I didn't even register. I was in the picture. I just saw more Chikawa and went obsessive. This <laughs> intervention indeed. It's like, wow, he just gave you an intervention and didn't even realize it. Like, you, picture of you with the same area, you didn't even realize it was you until you. <laughs> this is how I am. Either stand by me or leave. No, I don't need an intervention. Put it away. We left. Give her an intervention. In fact, dog pile on her. That entire rub. Put her in a freaking pad room. I looked longingly <laughs> at the crane machine. She was no. Time for. No. Get far out. Dinner. Plus, we ended up in another arcade nearby anyway, and I got myself a Chikawa from one of those machines. So it worked out. Stop. I don't want to hear it. Finally, you need it. You need it. The end of our 24 trip. hours remain. the last day grabbing lunch with Emily and Didus. There was a cool One Piece scavenger hunt event going on, so we also did that with them. We basically had to walk around Shibuya and find special One Piece trading card posters hidden oh. around the area. Oh, I think I heard about, about those. With the special card of the day, we could get a limited edition mystery card. It was fun, but also so hot yep. and all my clothes were sticking to my body. Didus generously let me borrow his umbrella and I jumped for joy as he showed me it was coincidentally Chico. Oh no. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. All I know is that bear makes me happy. We spent a few hours. <laughs> so you got your own then, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is probably, it was probably long since over by now, but did you uh, at least hear about that? Uh, pro pro that collab that One Piece did with that uh, close, with that uh, closing uh, clothesline there, where cool has uh, jackets, stuff like that, black jackets, stuff like and such. Uh, I gotta find a sticker I got, but damn, those those were cool. It was just for that. It was a long time ago, and it was just for that one quick. It was a quick collab, whatever. Completing the scavenger, <coughs> got our special cards and bid them farewell. Always good to see you guys. Bye bye. You kept the umbrella. I accidentally stole Didus's umbrella. It looks. <laughs> I could have figured. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Just pay it back. So calculated. They knew how much I was obsessed with Chikawa. They'd been watching my Instagram stories. Follow if you want to see Brain Rot in real time. And Brain Rot in real time. I didn't mean to steal it. I promise. It's not what it looks like. Uh, good thing I don't. I, I don't follow. I don't have Instagram. So, got Discord. Since we were <laughs> leaving in the morning and wouldn't be seeing them again, they just let me keep it. But the side eye Jacob gave me the rest of the way back. I didn't mean to stop it. <laughs> Getting back to the apartment, reality hit us hard. Yeah. We needed more. Just a few more suitcases. Yeah. Again. In total. Uh huh. Let me guess. Uh, okay, you uh, okay, fill out your backpack as well. So you got like two each. I'm thinking a total of six suitcases and maybe. Six more back, six, six or seven backpacks. We ended up buying six extra suitcases to hold everything we collectively bought, and even then, it was a struggle making it fit. Jacob ended up going professional Tetris mode, perfectly fitting everything into the suitcases with quite literally no extra room to yeah, spare. Yeah, we came that's to a, Japan that's... each with a backpack, carry on, and one extra big suitcase. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's like, what were you? What was even in the backpacks? Your computer, your, your what? Uh, computer or something like that? Just no, yeah, that was nothing. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, it took. I had to try to. I literally had to start to stuff two. Oh boy. No, 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 no. It's like when I, second time we went to Japan, I was I had more freedom. 
far more freedom. They had a tour group or something like that. Here I could travel. I and did boy, I think I required. I think I did. I didn't buy any suitcase, but. I made sure to pack very light. I'll tell you that much, people. I'll like, I'll make light here enough, and it was still a hassle. And we're leaving with altogether eight suitcases and four backpacks. We were lucky the taxi driver had a big enough car to fit everything because we didn't have much of a game plan if it didn't. Uh <laughs> oh, it just, it's still, but you're still, Pokemon Company is still paying for the plane ride and I guess the extra luggage, right? To the airport we went and checked all of our excessive bags paid a couple fees oh they did not pay the fee no 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 <laughs> ouch oh okay how much money did you spend our flight and headed home that trip will go down as one of the best trips i've ever gone on it felt like it turned into a celebration of everything that makes me me yes all of my hobbies and interests Pokemon, One Piece, at the last minute, Chikawa. We got to do so many incredible things <sighs> and were given so many opportunities. Yeah, Asuna Miku, I'm still jazzed about that one. Universal, Universal Studios Japan. Oh, yeah. God, I wanna. Makes me wanna develop the paint photos here and make an album like this. I'd never even thought I could be a part of. I got to see so many friends that are normally so far away, ate some of the best meals of my life, and overall was just really happy, especially getting to spend it all with my best friend, Jacob. By the Aww. way, if you wanted to know why in the world we got so many things, yes, a lot of it was for us. 90% of it all was but, for our friends. Yeah. 100% of the Chico stuff was mine, but that's just... Yeah, I the Chico stuff was yours, yeah. You got... You got uh, that many free friends, huh? Okay, if you that's want to awesome. See what we got them. Also, credit where credit is due. The majority of it all was from Jacob because he's uh, a great gift giver and even more incredible friend to the people around him. We're all nothing short of lucky to be able to call him our friend. You can go watch his Japan video. I assume it's already up because we had to animate okay. a freaking thirty-minute-long video. Yeah. Oh my God, it was a lot. Thanks for sticking around. But yeah, I, I think I saw that one actually. I don't remember. And I owe the opportunity to the Pokemon Company for inviting us to Japan in the first place. I'm <laughs> extremely lucky to be in the position I am and will be forever grateful. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm... I think I've seen this one already. I don't recall. I went to Japan and spent too much money, trust me, you, you did... No, you could have... You could have spent more. I, mean, I would. I would. I. I'm pretty sure you would have sold your kidney and spend more money. <laughs> you can never spend enough money in Japan, if you, especially if you're a freaking like otaku, a geek, nerd for the anime and video games and stuff like that. You just, you just can't. <sighs> oh, though that was fun. I'm I'm curious to see how much money they actually spent. That that would have been a that my in my opinion here they didn't have to do that. Some people don't think that's uh, not exactly good, but hey, I I want to know and just say how much there's how much we, there's how much money we spend. It's like I wish I had that much money to spend. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So, pretty much exactly what, more or less what happened. The heat was the biggest thing, of course. That, a few factors. But I knew, like, day, there would be days in between trips where they were just, like, spent. They had nothing, like, just spent a whole day relaxing. And everything they got was right here. Like, the food, great here. Especially those, like... They're not even the fancy stuff here, like the things in, just in the walls. Delicious and well priced. 7 Eleven is. 7 Eleven and other convenience stores? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're great. They're great here. They're high quality stuff, high quality food that you can just buy for a quick cent. Mc, the McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 
again, they literally, you make your order, sit at a table, they bring you your order. You don't pick it up. The Pokemon, the Hatsune Miku concert, lucky yo, I'm jealous of that. Oh. Like, as a Gundam fan, I can't help but feel a little bit, I'm both happy and a little sad that you didn't get to see the Gundam statue in Yokohama. Happy because if you did, I would have... You're not even a Gundam fan! Uh, sad because I would have liked to have heard what she thought of it. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm surprised. Uh, <clears throat> okay, she went to a bunch of stores. Did any of them, any, any of them go to Akihabara? That's like, yeah, the Mecca. You can, you can certainly find a lot of... Uh, Rare video games, that's for damn sure. Uh, so, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Jaden. Wow. Lucky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jaden, you, you, um, you underestimate just how much of an adrenaline shot going to Japan is for people like you and me and everything. Yep. You needed more suitcase. You need to... You need to prepare. It's like you... You, like, come on. You stay three whole weeks in Japan! For the record, when I said... Last time I stayed in Japan a second time, it was only, like... Four days? Five? Give or take? And I ended up almost needing to buy another suitcase. Fortunately, I didn't, didn't have to. Didn't have to, thank God. I mean, it, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had enough self-control. You guys, did you guys go to the Nakano Broadway? 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 Something like that? Come on. Anything like that? I just said, uh, just, just asking you. There's a, there's a lot of like little stores tucked away in areas and... Maybe if you played the uh, Digimon Story Cyber Slew like you should have, Jaden, instead of uh, the DS game, you would have known about the Nakano Broadway and probably have gone there yourself when you were in Japan. I'm making you feel bad. Is it working? <laughs> oh, okay, but but seriously, Jaden, like, lucky you and Alpha, Brad, and Alpha Rad there. It's like, damn. Just... Oh boy, it's it's unfortunate that the Pokemon company could not pay for the extra luggage. Still, the fact that they paid that much <laughs> was a great thing. So thank you for watching everyone here. Like if you're haven't seen Jaden, check out our channel. Link to the video down below. Until then, this is Mexan, and this video is gonna be on for it's gonna be a long one, no doubt. So, see you guys next time.